Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me a great big smile and wink at me. <laughs> you can also give me all your good energy by clicking that like button. Hi, Bela Fluey. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Whoa. <laughs> I did a YouTube short when I did uh, How to Spot a Narcissist. Narcissist 101. Be sure to check out that short video if you're interested in how to spot a narcissist and the four classic traits of a narcissist. <laughs> I ain't joking, you guys. I'm telling you, I've been, I've been dealing with some narcissists. Well, we all have them in our life, so that's why we all need to recognize the signs. Because as empathic people, and I know Pisces is empathic sign, so very much so as an empathic Pisces, it's very important for you to recognize the narcissists because they are horrible and they always come back around and beg for your forgiveness. So, oh, Pisces, I love you and I, I got you back here, okay? So, Pisces, Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. Go ahead and do whatever you want. <laughs> Let me do the rest. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person that you're dealing with or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit that shit together. Yeah. Narcissist 101. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Show! Oh, boy, look at that shuffle truffle. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Show me the energy the person my beautiful. Sure. Okay. Down on the table, Pisces, I have got the good old seven of cups. I've got the five of pentacles. I have got the nine of wands. The overall energy here for the reading here is that of the strength card here. So, Pisces, your person needs some cojones, or they're trying to get some cojones here in a situation. Trying to gather up their strength here, right? Be courageous and brave, right? Upstanding young citizen of the world. <laughs> Oh, yeah, somebody said I was too dramatic the other day on one of my comments. I'm like, well, maybe I am, but I don't care. <laughs> if you don't like me, you don't like me. Who cares? I don't care. I like me, so that's all that matters. Seven of Cups here, Pisces. Okay, so your person here seems like they got a lot of options here when it comes to love. But here in this particular deck... It's like there's one cup here that they're really kind of checking out here, okay? Pisces, your person here has been stepping on some bones here, okay? Right? Five of Pentacles. It's the card of feeling left out in the cold and all lonely. We've got the Knight of Wands down here on the table. Knight of Wands, uh, very charismatic, uh, a charmer, very fickle in love. And the funny thing of it is that usually the King of Wands is basically a narcissist, right? Because uh, what does he do? He's fickle in love. 
So then he does the classic, you know, narcissistic traits, you know, draws you in, idealizes you, devalue, devalues you, you know, and then basically at the end of the day, then they hoover back around and try to get you back in because basically they're jealous and their other option didn't work out and so they come back to good old faithful here. Okay, so we're going to clarify this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me in this narcissist thing. So, uh, why is this person feeling so left out here? Five of Pentacles. Why is this person feeling left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles, please? Shuffle Truffle City, baby. Why is this person feeling so left out with these five pens? Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. The tech's going wild back here, guys. <laughs> Why is this person feeling left out? What's going on with the five pentacles here on the table? Let's go. 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 Let's get this show on the road here. Whew, they're going to make me shuffle. That's fine. Let's go. Sure. Okay, why are they feeling so left out in the cold here? Well, yep, they're definitely feeling left out in the cold here. Oh, it's like this person feels like they're standing alone. It's like they're like, hey, Pisces, let's uh, let's do this. You ready to, to rock and roll? And uh, I feel like you're just like, oh, no, I'm kind of busy, you know, don't got stuff going on. Don't really, uh, yeah, you're just Minding your own business, not even really looking here. Why else is this person feeling left out in the cold? Why else are they feeling left out in the cold? Yeah. Oh boy, to the five of swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, they're feeling left out in the cold. Not only are they feeling left out in the cold here with this chariot, so it's like they're feeling like they're just like being defeated here at the end of the day. The card of the wounded warrior here, okay? So things are not working out. And, uh, yeah. Oh, boy, Pisces. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're having it here either. Nope, it doesn't look like you're having it anything to do with this person at all. <laughs> but they're showing up in your energy here. I don't know why, but these people show up. I don't know. I just, I just read the energy here. So, oh, boy. Oh, God. So what's going on with the Seven of Cups here? Whoa, what's going on with the Seven of Cups here? Oh, God, here. Okay, so what's going on with the Seven of Cups? Shit. <laughs> All right. Well, Pisces, this person here, oh, boy. Talk about fantasy land here. Seven of Cups to the devil to the moon here. Oh, boy. This is, uh, this is a dark, this is a dark energy here. This is definitely a dark energy here. And this person here, it's like, mm, oh, boy. Oh, this is not good, Pisces. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh, Jesus, criminy. I'm sorry. I get, it gets wild back here for me. I just... These people that show up in these readings are, sometimes they just really, this is classic narcissist here, okay? So this person's got a lot of options here, okay? Then it's like they're keeping you here as their main option. So basically, you're like a fire extinguisher here in a glass case. You ever see a, glass, a fire extinguisher in a glass case? Okay, yeah, you have. On the side of it, it's got a little hammer. And then what's it written on the on the front of it? It says, in case of an emergency, use hammer to break open. So basically, this person here, they put you in a glass case. They keep you stuck. They keep you stuck. Okay? Because this person's a narcissist. I There's a reason why I said that shit before, and I didn't even know why. But now it's pertaining to this reading here. So... Once they get done with their victim, right? Once they, go, you know, they get their victim, you know, and they're like, oh, I'm done with the victim. It's time to go back to good old faithful here. Okay? And that's exactly what it is here. I mean, and I see it right here. It's really even depicted in the cards with the seven of cups here. You're good old faithful to this person here. And they keep you chained to them every single time. So when they need their fire put out, they break open the case, they call you up, text you up, 
you get excited, your adrenaline kicks in, all that dopamine gets in thrown through your veins here, and uh, you get a little bit of a rush out of it, because you're like, oh my god, yes, <laughs> they're back. And then they do it all over again. So you get caught in this cycle here with this person here. That's why I told you at the beginning, watch that video, watch that YouTube short. I'm not joking you. Oh boy. So you're stuck in a cycle here. Oh my God. Okay. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh brother. Why is the Knight of Wands here in Pisces person's energy? Let's go. Shuffle, truffle. They're going to make me shuffle, truffle it out. Let's go. Knight of Wands. Shuffle, truffle, baby. That's fine. That's fine. Knight of Wands. Let's work this one out. Come on. Whew. Good Lord have mercy. I really like to make me shuffle this deck. It's only this deck, too. This is the only deck that is like this. It's the weirdest thing. Knight of Wands. Let's work this one out, baby. Come on. Give it to Mama. Let's give it to Mama. Give it to Mama. Come on. Give it to Mama. Sure, you give it to Mama. Yep. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh my God! It's the Ten Pentacles here. So it's like this has been a this has been a thing that's been going on for quite some time here, Pisces. And they are coming right back in here, making you feel all good. Let's go one more on that Ten Pen with the Knight of Wands, making you feel all good here. Yep. And pulling a basic trick over your eyes. This person's. Pulling the wool over your eyes every single time. And it's like, I don't think you're, I hope now that you're here listening to this reading, Pisces, that you're recognizing what is really going on here. If any of this resonates with you, you really need to go and watch that YouTube short. I mean, seriously. I mean, I'm really, I can, I could talk about this shit all day long. But yeah, they come in here, they pull the wool over your eyes, start making you feel good, you know, like, oh, I'm going to have a long-term relationship here with this person. I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. But at the end of the day, this person is a master manipulator here, okay? So it's not always rainbow, unicorn, stardust, pixie, kitty, boom, boom tarot here, okay? This is Talia's tarot. <laughs> So whatever comes out, comes out. Let's see what your narcissist wants to tell you before uh, you check out here on this reading. <laughs> what do they want to tell you? Yep, they're waiting here to come back around, Pisces. They're waiting for something to happen, and then they're going to come back around here and want to talk to you again. Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. In and out. Good old come and go right here. Mm -hmm. I think you're the come and go gas station here. Oh, the sun came out in reverse, so basically what this is saying is this person is not happy right now, and they want to talk to you here, and the empress just dropped out in reverse as well, so it's like they're feeling like this connection is uh, not doing so good. Well, that's because it's not. Oh, this jack wagon. Get this person off my table. Tarot's adjourned.